Hello, everyone. Welcome to week two of Celebrate Wonder. I'm here with my friend Nugget, and I'm Reverend Meredith Brown, our lead pastor at Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church. And I'm going to be joined by Nugget and all kinds of other creatures. Miss Laurie, who is our a director of Children and Youth Ministries, who's holding Nugget right now. And we are uh, so glad to be together today for our time of worship and learning. Uh, together. Thank you for being here. Like I said, this is week two of Celebrate Wonder. If you haven't received your Celebrate Wonder activity kit and you want one, please contact us in the church office and we'll get that to you. This week, as we're celebrating wonder, we're talking about God's creation again, but how God created all of the animals and how much imagination that must have taken. Mm. So mm. let's continue on as we celebrate wonder and we're going to go over to our wonder table and get started. See you in a minute. Hi everybody. It is Miss Lori and Laud and we are here. Why are you making that face? This is not a happy face. You are not being replaced by the turtle. No, no, you're really not. I know he got to do it this week. You got to do it last week. He's a little upset about the opening. He got to be, you know, the big guy. And this week it was the turtle. So, but it was the turtle because we are talking this week about all of God's creation and the animals and all living things. So before we get started, we're here at our wonder table with our friends. We're gonna light the candle. Now I'm gonna light the candle this time, okay? Yeah, he's, he's a little worried that he's gonna catch on fire. So, you know, we don't wanna light the lamb, light the candle. So you light your candle with your family. There we go. Hmm. Oh, you have some questions for, for Pastor Meredith? get her. Oh, and there she is. Here I am. Lord would like to know what your favorite animal is. Oh, oh, my favorite animal is a hippopotamus. Except I also love a lamb, of course. Oh, oh good, good. Of course. Do you have pets? Oh, I do have pets. I have a lazy house cat whose name is Splat the cat. Splat the cat. Splat the cat. He's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, almost everybody here has seen our animals running around here from time to time. We get two dogs, three turtles, a lamb. You know, huh? If you could be any animal, Pastor Meredith, what would that animal be? Oh, you know what? I think I would want to be a duckbill platypus because they're so interesting and fascinating, and they live in the water and they lay eggs but they're also a mammal. I mean, how interesting and creative and inspiring and imaginative is that? Duckbill platypus. Yeah, you know, really, God had a pretty good imagination when you look at all of these animals and you think about all of the animals. That's very creative. Very creative. Now the mosquito, I still don't understand the mosquito. Oh, I'll give you that, yeah. I guess we'll let it go but I still don't understand the mosquito. But I'm sure there's a purpose. But he created everything, and he doesn't make mistakes. Hmm, all right. Well, our Bible story today that we hope that you will read together as a family, it's in your notebook with your uh, activity kit, is out of the first chapter of Genesis, right at the beginning of the Bible, but it's the part where God creates all the animals. God says, okay, let all, let the water be filled up with living creatures. Let birds be all across the sky. And God said it. And there were all kinds of swimming creatures in the oceans and in the waters and all kinds of birds that flew across. And then God said, let the land be filled up with all kinds of creatures from great big elephants to itty bitty ants and the tiniest little bugs and all kinds of interesting things, armadillos and tigers and monkeys and lambs, of course all of those animals. And God said, after creating all of the creatures, it is very good. I believe that, all of the creatures. Amazing, mm -hmm. don't you think, Miss mm -hmm. Laurie? I think so too. Mm -hmm. You know, after that Bible story, you have your wonder cube. 
He struggles with this cube. So I'm going to roll this cube. It says, I wonder, where did you see God in the Bible story? I saw God in all of the things that he made. He makes all of these things. Wow. That really goes to creativity. I think. What do you think? Mm -hmm. All of our animal friends. Okay. So, we are going to say a quick prayer together. And then we'll watch our Bible story. So, repeat after me. Dear God, dear God, thank you for creating, thank you for creating, every living thing, every living thing, and making it so good, and making it so good. Amen. Amen. All right. Now, let's watch our Bible story. Thanks, guys. Hey everyone, let's go on a nature walk together. Whoa, there's a bear. Did you see it? See those monkeys in the trees? Wow, there are so many different kinds of fish. In our scripture today, God creates all of the animals of the earth. God had already made a home for them. And now, God filled the land and the sea with all kinds of animals, and they each had their own place to live. My favorite part is that God didn't just make one animal for land. God made tigers, bears, spiders, caterpillars, birds, elephants, cats, dogs, and so many more. God also didn't just make one creature for the sea either. There were goldfish, sharks, turtles, alligators, starfish, whales, and dolphins. There are so many, there's no way I can list them all. I wonder why God didn't just make one animal that would populate the whole earth. We can have an earth full of tigers, and that's it. The earth could be full of fish and nothing else. Why was God so creative when imagining the world? I think God created so many different living things because God celebrates diversity. Wait, what's diversity? Diversity means difference. Creating it means you have to use your imagination. Even though everything was different, God saw all of the amazing things created and said they were good. Nothing was better, and nothing was the best. They were all important. Friends, thanks for coming on this nature walk with me. We got to see so much creativity and celebrate diversity together. I love looking at all the amazing things that God created. I look one way, and I see a zebra. I look the other way, and I see monkeys. I look up, and I see a huge eagle. I look down and I see a bunch of little ants. When I look at all these things, I remember, wow, God made all this and it's all good. The amazing thing about creativity is that there are always more possibilities. What animal would you add to creation? I think I would want a 10-legged dog that could run super, super fast, or even a rainbow elephant. How cool. What would your animal eat? Where would they live? God celebrates your creativity, and when we all imagine, we get to celebrate the diversity of our ideas. Now, it's your turn to wonder. Hi everybody, I hope you enjoyed that Bible story. Now, you were listening, they were talking about going out and taking a nature walk in that story that we just watched. And in your bag that you got, there is a kit and it's labeled week two. And in there for your nature walk, you have some paper bags that you can put some things in on your walk. Now sometimes you don't always like to touch everything outside. So we have some latex gloves so you don't get all icky. And then we have a notebook. Now, you can decorate this notebook however you would like. And you can either draw pictures or write words of things that you have seen on your nature walk that God has created. You might see things that are growing. You might see some things that are living. 
okay? So that's what you're going to be doing this week. Last week, you did your earth, and I did color mine. I think it might get tossed in here, we'll see. Aha, I did color it. I said I was gonna color it blue and some green, which I did. And then this week, I'm gonna go outside and we're gonna collect some things. And then make some drawings and some notes. So that's what you're gonna do on your nature walk this week. Okay, grown-ups, each week as we celebrate wonder, you are encouraged to your own spiritual practice. This week, we're asked to use our imaginations. One of my favorite ways to use my imagination is to take some time outside, look up at the sky, and see what I can imagine in the clouds. Luna's helping me. Okay, I'll hold this. Let's look up at the clouds. And what kind of shapes can I see? And what kind of creatures can I see? I love looking at the clouds and imagining all the different ways that we're connected with God and with one another and all the different shapes that clouds make. Okay, for all of our grown-ups out there, one thing that is really nice to do when we're talking about nature and God's creation is to just sit outside and listen. Because not only can we see God's creation of the animals, a lot of times we can also hear them. And in the background right now, I'm hearing some of those early evening noises that nature makes. I am so glad you guys joined us again this week for Celebration of Wonder. Don't forget about your celebration chart this week. This week we used red check marks. I want to use a different color each week so we can see what we're doing each week. So that's just an idea. Laud, what's your favorite thing on the celebration chart? Of course it is. Was kind to animals. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that's his favorite. There's all kinds of things on here. So don't forget about that. Now, right after this is our music. So don't forget to stick around and join in the singing afterwards. But we'll see you again next week, guys. Have a great and wonderful week. Bye. You did first things first You dreamed of the earth And with just a word You made it so so good all the stars align just like in your mind everything in time you made it so so good
Yeah, man.